What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Polka BTC, the ultimate DeFi Polkadot bridge. Is it even on Polkadot? Let's find out. But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto, updated for 2021. It's 100% free, so check that out in the description below and it will also be pinned in the comments. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back. So in our last videos, we talked about some more Polka projects and its impacts on the crypto ecosystem. Today, I am continuing my series of Polka projects, which includes all of the current projects in active development in the Polkadot ecosystem. But today, I wanna dive deeper into some of the really under the radar projects that are getting very early and ambitiously solving some very key issues and may be a massive player in the crypto space very soon. Today, I'm going to be covering what is known as Polka BTC, what it aims to achieve and how you can possibly get in earlier than most people on this very unique project. So what is Polka BTC in a nutshell? Polka BTC is a trustless Bitcoin polka dot bridge. Polka BTC allows users to mint one-to-one -one Bitcoin backed assets on the Polkadot blockchain. And it can use a wide range of applications, including decentralized exchanges, stable coins, and lending protocols. Funded by the Web3 Foundation grant, Polka BTC is implemented in Rust using Parity Substrate Framework, a new form of tokenized Bitcoin. Polka BTC is set to be released onto the Polkadot blockchain network in this Q1 of 2021 or later. Blockchain startup Interlay will launch Polka BTC backed one to one with Bitcoin and Interlay is funded by the Web3 Foundation, which oversees the development of Polkadot. Polka BTC could be seen as an alternative for popular WBTC or TBTC, which are built on the Ethereum blockchain. Interlay said that what makes Polka BTC unique is its strict dedication to being trustless and open, meaning that it would have no central authority and would be permissionless, like the Bitcoin system itself. Insurance for one, security another, but most of all, I just don't trust you. In a press release dis directly from Interlay, they have said the following, quote, right from the start, the BTC parachain will be run by a decentralized network of individuals, community members, and companies, close quote, said Interlay. You do not need permission or any additional token to become a maintainer and start earning fees. Polkadot's native DOT token would be used as collateral for minting Polka BTC. Any user can become a vault by simply locking DOT as collateral. I don't know, nothing, nothing's ever locked. <laughs> One, you need a Bitcoin or BTC wallet. Two, a Polkadot wallet. And three, some DOT. That's it. Users would then be able to transfer minted Polka BTC to other users or decentralized applications built on Polkadot. To redeem Polka BTC for the equivalent amount of BTC, they would need to burn Polka BTC tokens on the BTC parachain. Polka BTC can remain on Polkadot indefinitely, no expiration, and can be redeemed for BTC at any point in time. So why exactly do we need this? Well, once Polka BTC is created, a new token can be used throughout the entire Polkadot network, and any holder of Polka BTC can redeem it for actual BTC at any time. The BTC locked on Polkadot is monitored by the BTC relay announced in Interlay in April. A key difference between BTC on Polkadot and Ethereum is that Polkadot is building it ahead of the use cases. There are no DeFi products as of yet ready to enlist Polka BTC for uses such as lending or collateral, but it's coming. While Ethereum is without question the market leader here, there are quite a few projects on Polkadot that are preparing to offer DeFi products. He listed Katal, which will enable selling future cash flows, and Akala, a stablecoin platform that could use Polka BTC as a form of collateral. 
Interlay is itself going to create a derivatives platform on which Polka BTC could be useful. That said, using WBTC as the main example of the original cryptocurrency on another chain, without a real use case like the market showed relatively little interest in bridging those two chains, Ethereum and BTC. This solves a major problem. What makes the BTC parachain unique is a strict dedication to being trustless and open. Trustless, the bridge has no central authority right from the start. The BTC parachain will be run by a decentralized network of individuals, community members, and companies. Open in the spirit of permissionless systems like a Bitcoin, anyone can participate in the operation or operating a bridge contrary to other approaches where you do not need permission or additional tokens to become a maintainer and start earning fees. As a holder of Polka BTC, you have the following guarantee. You can always redeem Polka BTC for BTC or be reimbursed in the collateral currency at a beneficial rate. Don't try to understand it. Feel it. In the case that a vault misbehaves, you will be reimbursed from the vault's collateral and will make a very profitable trade between BTC and DOT. At launch, collateral will only be put in as DOT. In the mid to long run, this may be extended to stable coins or token sets, to improve stability. Summarizing, to trust the bridge, you only need to, one, trust that Bitcoin is secure, meaning trust that Bitcoin's blocks are final after X confirmations. The bridge will recommend a minimum of six confirmations through users and apps are encouraged to set higher thresholds. Also, trusting that Polkadot is secure. This assumption is made by all applications running on top of Polkadot. The alpha was successfully launched in November of 2020, a public feature ready beta launch, which is scheduled for March of 2021, but we're obviously past that, not ready. Once the audit of the code base is completed and parachains are enabled on Polkadot and Kusama, the BTC parachain will go live, first on Kusama, then on Polkadot's main net. This is so compelling that I might just have to consider using some of my BTC to bridge this gap. I quintupled my money four days in a row. So you got a fix in the game? No, not a fix. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna take a second look at this particular bridge to put your BTC to work? If not, are you gonna try now that you know it's a part of Polkadot's lucrative ecosystem? Let me know down in the comments below and then go ahead and click right here in the top right corner to watch my video on why Polkadot will be over $1,000 very soon. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.